Hi everyone, this is Bea from Responsive Muse. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this full screen slideshow with animated text here. So the great thing about this is that I'm not using any third party widget. I'm using built in widgets that you can find in Muse. I've combined two of them. One is the full screen and the other one is called the tooltip widget. So it means it's full screens because it will adapt to your own screen. So this is my screen and if I make it smaller, you can see how it will adapt. All right. So this is my idea, you know, to use this as, you know, as, as my home page as a starter, but, you know, just be creative and you can use it some other way if you want to. Okay, so let's start. Um, okay, this is the project here. I want to start from scratch. I have my swatches here. So first thing we're going to do is drag out, open the widget library and drag out the open slideshow and drag out full screen. So once you let it go, it will adapt to the canvas. Okay. It's going to hide this and we're going to delete this here. Okay. Delete all of it. We're also going to get rid of the images here. So I, this is how I do it. I just click over the widget and I click on delete and it deletes all of it. So once it's blank, Sorry, I just deleted the widget. Let's do this again. Sorry, guys. Drag the full screen. And delete these elements here. The thumbnail that I don't want. Okay. All right, so I just want one fixed image, okay? Because I, what I want is just to have a fixed image as a background and then I want the text to be animated. I want a transition between text. So that's why I don't want a slideshow. So I'm just gonna add the image, which is this one here. And okay, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. Okay, let me check the options here. So we're going to leave this as it is. Um, I want auto play too. I want it full screen. And I'm going to bring this down to, oh, let's say 1.5 and 1.52. Okay, great. So next thing is we're going to open the widget library again and go to compositions and drag out tooltip. Okay, open the options and I want it, I don't want it scattered, I want it stacked. And show target on rollover, okay, that's fine. And hide target, none. I'm going to leave the transition in fading. You can choose horizontal or vertical. And this is going to be triggers on top. Yes, hide all initially. No, I don't want to hide all initially. And yep, that's it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to center this. All right. And just pin it to the center too. So it'll always be in that exact place. So I'm going to delete this trigger here because I'm just going to use two and I'm going to center them two over here okay so click on the first trigger and we'll get the first panel here so I'm going to delete everything there's a stroke here so let's set the stroke to zero and fill it to nothing so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a, get a text box inside here. And I'm going to type, no, sorry, it's yellow cactus. Okay. So open the text tool and 
I have this font prepared here called Gantt, it's a free font. Center it and with my swatch, okay. Put the color and I prepared this yellow color here. And then let's bring it up to 72. Okay, I can make it bigger. Let's leave it to 85. Okay, so remember this, I want it to be centered. That over there is the widget box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down a guide so I know the, where the text is. And this triggers up here. I'm going to bring them up. Okay, wait, I'm going to bring them up now. Click on the first trigger, all right. So bring it up here. And second trigger there. Okay, next thing is I'm gonna edit this here. So delete the text, get rid of the stroke and the fill, and bring in another text box. And it says creative design. I'm going to do the same thing as the other one. So the color is this yellow over here. Creative design. Choose the font to Gantt. You can actually bring it up to 85 as the other text box. Okay, so I have my line here. Remember to center it. Okay, remember to center it here. Set it to none. Center it and resize it to none. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play with the trigger points here. So you can actually resize them too. I'm going to get rid of this yellow, I'm not going to need that anymore. So what I'm going to do is, okay, I'm going to zoom in. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this a bit wider like that. Okay, so whenever it's normal, I want this. Yeah, I'm going to keep this this gray, but whenever it's active, I'm going to change the color to this green over here. Same thing to the other trigger. So whenever it's active, I want it to be green. Okay, so let's get rid of this and let's preview and see what happens. Okay, what I want is just to play on its own, not when I mouse over this. So I have to go back here and I'm gonna set this to Yep, out of play. Not sure what happened before, but it didn't memorize this 
options here. Okay, let's preview it again. Yeah. So that's it, guys. So this T. Okay, so I hope you liked my tutorial. Thank you very much for watching, guys.